Hey guys, Colin here with a quick one today. I'm going to show you how to add page builder elements to CSS Hero manually so you can actually override the page builder values and change some colors and change some backgrounds, change all sorts of things. So I'm going to jump right in here and click on CSS Hero up in the top right hand corner and I'm going to activate that. Now this is actually a Beaver Builder theme with the Beaver Builder plugin and none of the elements are actually recognized by CSS Hero. So if I actually turn on the targeting tool, it will say activate rocket mode. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to demonstrate that when I hover over anything, um, CSS Hero doesn't pick up anything. If I activate rocket mode, it will work. But in some circumstances, if you have a theme that is hero ready, as in Genesis or Divi, one of those themes that CSS Hero recognizes, it will not activate the rocket mode for the Beaver Builder page level elements. So we have to add them manually. Now this is only a temporary thing because I know that the CSS Hero team are actually adding Beaver Builder elements uh, to the Hero Cloud very soon. So this is kind of temporary fix for them. So what we're going to do is we need to identify some page elements and then we're going to add them to CSS hero. So right now we don't we're not seeing anything being picked up. But if I scroll down here, let's choose um, let's choose this one here. So team adventures. Let's say we want to just change that one to maybe a red text color. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press F12 on my keyboard, and what this is going to do is it's going to bring up the inspector tool. This is in Chrome. If you're in Firefox, you'll have to download and add the extension called Firebug. But uh, F12 in Chrome is what I use. Now if I click on the the magnifying glass here on the inspection tool and I hover over things you'll see that it highlights them so I'm going to just click on the team adventures okay now if we look at some of the code here you'll notice that first of all we can scroll up as we scroll up it highlights different things okay so right now what I want to do is I want to determine that this is a node and this is actually one node within the three there's three nodes there and I want to isolate that one so I want to identify the actual node number as you can see the node number right there is FL node 548 da 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 and I'm just gonna click on right click on it and edit attribute I'm gonna grab all that by copying and pressing control C should I say and I'm going to add it to a text file. I'm just going to drag this across here. You'll notice I've already have one in here already, and I want you to put that in front of every single one because in the page builder, that will pre-identify it as a page builder element. I'm going to click paste in here. Now, all I want is the node number. I don't want anything in front of it, just the node, and I need to put a period before it so it recognizes it. So now I've got two elements. I've got the page builder element, so I recognize it as a page builder. Okay, I'm just going to move this text box out of the way. So that's the whole page. Then I've got the next bit down, which is the actual node, which is this area here. Now I want to identify it as the team adventures. So if I click on that magnifying glass again, and I just hover over the team adventures, what I'm going to do down, see, see I've got it over here. It's an H2 class, and it's actually an FL callout title. So once again, if I right click on that, if I click edit attribute, it will highlight the bit that I need. I press control C. I'll go back to my text file again, bring that back in. Okay. I'm going to put here, I'm going to put a space. I'm going to put the FL callout title in there, but I have to go back and put a period again, just in front of that. Otherwise this won't work. Okay. So now we've got three parts. We've got the page level parts. So the whole page, then we've got the node level. So we've got that section there. And then we've got the call out title, which is just that bit. So I'm going to just going to highlight all that text, control C, copy it, just minimize that. Then I'm going to go into CSS hero. Now, if you see this item up here, has got three little lines and the plus sign. If we click on that, that's our manually add elements. And I'm going to go in there and it's going to paste this. I'm going to click on save selector. Okay. Now, if I click on the inspection tool, I'll leave rocket mode off. But if I go over this, you'll notice that I, now it pre-selects. You see I've got the FL Builder content, FL Node, and I've got the FL Title. So if we actually click on that, CSS Hero now recognizes it up here. I'm going to click on it. Now I can go in and change some of the elements of that. So here's text. Click on this one. I can change it to red. We said we were going to go nice bright and red on that one. And there's the red text changed. Pretty easy, eh? So if I scroll down here, there we go. I've just done it on that one element, not 
on all of them. So all your headings on all these callouts will still remain the default Beaver Builder, except for that one node. Now, let me just do that again, another example, just to show you quickly. So let's choose uh, this button, for example. If we just want to do that one button, I'm going to click on the element here and select as much of the outside bit. You can see that I've got AFL button there. So what I want to do is I want to go back up and I want to identify the node. And there's the node, as you can see, just above. And so I'm going to right click on this, edit attribute. I'm going to copy all that. I don't need all of it. I just need the node number. I'm going to actually bring in my text editor again. I'm going to just get rid of everything there, leaving the FL builder content for now. I'm going to go back in here and remove everything except for the node number. OK. And I don't need the test part at the back there. Where did that come from? So let's just take the test out of that. OK. Now what I need to do is put a space in there, just minimize that. I want to actually make sure I get the FL button now. So if I come down here, let's select it again just to make sure we're on the button as much as we can. There we go. And if I come down here, you can see I've got the class. If I right click on it, edit attribute, it's going to highlight the FL button. I'm going to press Control C to copy that. Bring up my text editor again. I've got a space. I'm going to put that dot in first because I know I need it. OK, and I'm going to click on that, highlight it all, Control C, copy it minimize that go back up here activate CSS hero click on this icon to add a, an element manually put it on a completely brand new line so I'm just going to control V that in there okay and as you can see we've got our element there so once I actually save that I click on the targeting tool again now if we go in here we'll be able to edit you see how it's picked up that button if I click on that we can go in here go to our background color it's blue, as you can see. And if I change this to something like green, you can see how easy it is to do it. And that's just changing it on an individual level. Really cool, eh? Uh, and that's how you do it. So it's pretty simple. I will write down the instructions for this. It's a little bit tricky to get used to. You've just got to be able to identify the elements and the nodes. But uh, one of the main things you need to do is make sure you include the .fl-builder-content in front of everything you do, just so you pre-identify as a page builder element. That's it for today. I hope you uh, enjoyed this, and I hope it helps you a lot. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you like it, please share it with somebody. Thanks a lot. Okay, bye now.